YouTube what's poppin it's your boy Marlock and welcome back to another Red Dead video before I even start the video if you guys are new around here make sure you like comment subscribe because I'm uploading daily Red Dead content but anyway getting right into it so today's video is about the best horses of 2021 and where to start and if you're a new player how to get your horse uh, basically get your horse game up um, for starters, do not be deceived by a horse's stats. That's what I would say first. Just because a horse has really good stats does not mean that it's like a top horse. Um, I know it sounds weird, but that's really what it is. So the number one horse in the game is the Norfolk Roaster. All right. And this is the Moonshiner Roll Horse. So these three, uh, excuse me, these four are pretty good. But what you really want to keep an eye on is the spotted tricolor and the dappled buckskin. All right, now their stats are the same. So um, at the end of the day, it just comes down to the color that you want. Um, now this is the number one horse in the game. All right, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like at its peak because I have it fully upgraded. So I'm gonna go to my managed horses. As you guys can see right here, the speed and acceleration of the horse is maxed out. That's the max that it'll go to, okay? And I'm putting the Norfolk Roaster as my number one because the Arabian, let's look at the Arabian. The Arabian has like the best basic stats as you can see right here. It's just when you're out in the world and it gets scared, it'll, it'll buck you off. And that clearly takes away from the speed because your horse needs to be um, pretty good. You can wear, you can rock slow and steady so your horse doesn't get scared. Um, but that's just my, that's just my personal um, take on it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, don't get, well, you can get the red chestnut. Um, I would say don't get it um, as a new player. New players would really go for the Arabian. You don't want to go for that, which you'll want to go for um, if you're new because the no fuck roaster is locked at a certain level. You want to go to the multi horses. You want to go to Missouri Fox Trotter, and this is the second fastest horse in the game. Okay, now you want to be able. You can get these two right here. All right. Uh, so the Buckskin Brindle or the Dapple Gray. All right. Again, the last two is what really matters. These other ones um, don't really matter. Uh, this one's really good. I'm, I'm gonna get this horse. Um, they all, they're all good. I'm not gonna lie. They, they, all these horses are good. But I'm saying these two because you can buy them at any level. You can be like level two and you can buy them. Um, only thing you need to do is have eleven hundred and twenty-five dollars. All right. Now that's the second horse. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's basically this is the second fastest horse in the game, but you can count it as the third because of the Arabian. So it's like kind of two-ish, kind of three-ish um, third place. But from that point, if you're not looking for the Arabian, the Norfolk Roaster, or the Missouri Fox Trotter, um, it really comes down to number four, which would be the Turkoman. Okay, now you can see the stats for the Turkoman. They're pretty much equivalent to the Missouri Fox Trotter, but I'm gonna show you what they both, like the max stats for when they're both completed because I, um, I usually rock the both of them, all right? Now you have the Missouri Fox Trotter right here. Then you have the Norfolk Roaster. And then you have the um, the Turkoman. All right, so both of these guys right here are Turkomans. But the only reason why the stats differentiate is because of the saddles. And I'm going to get into that in a second. You guys can see that this is the max stats for the Turkoman when it has on the best saddle and the best um, stirrups in the game. All right now see you have it right here so it's like 90 percent speed and then like 80 percent acceleration compared to the missouri fox trotter has 100 speed and 80 acceleration all right and then you look at the um norfolk roaster has 100 speed and 90 acceleration all right so um it really comes down to and you won't really notice it unless you do a side by side um you know what I mean? It'd probably be like a 0.3 second difference. Like, a like you know what I'm saying? It won't be anything crazy. All right. So now, because I showed you the top four horses in the game, um, I'm going to just tell you straight up. It really just comes down to the saddle. All right. Because you guys can see the speed and acceleration for this, um, this Appaloosa right here. Um, what you really want to look at is the saddle and the stirrups. I'm just, I'm just going to keep... 
um, emphasizing that. So right here, I'm rocking the Nakadocha saddle with the hooded stirrups. And we can get a closer look at it. All right. So let's go to the saddle. You guys can see that saddle again. And then I'm going to go to the stirrups. And this is the hooded stirrups. Now, this is locked behind a level requirement. All right. So if you don't have it, you just want to go to like the best one. You know what I'm saying? The lower the percentage rate, like negative 50, negative 45, the better. All right. So you really want to be looking at looking out for that um, because that's what brings it to that, that golden stage type vibe. You know what I'm saying? So when you have those, that's what really counts. All right. So the hooded stirrups, again, is the best stirrups. So the Nakadocha saddle with the hooded stirrups will make any horse last uh forever you can go from the top to the bottom of the entire map and you'll pretty much you won't run out of stamina um for your horse unless your horse gets shot or anything like that if you're just trying to travel and run then you'll be fine all right and it doesn't matter the color as long as you have the nakadocha saddle with the hooded stirrups you'll be fine but that's pretty much it for the video um, i'm gonna walk through all my horses so you guys can see what horses have what so i'm gonna go from right here this is the Breton horse. This is the Appaloosa workhorse. You guys already know this is the Missouri Fox Trotter. The Norfolk Roaster. This is the uh, Mustang. Again, you always want to choose those hooded stirrups. You guys already know this is the Turkoman. This is another Turkoman, the all black Turkoman. This is another Mustang. This is another Missouri Fox Trotter. And you, again, you can get this low levels. Get this ASAP. If you're a new player to Red Dead, get this one ASAP. There is no level um, lockout for this one. So get this ASAP. No Rocky. You feel me? This is, a, again, another Turkoman. And that's pretty much it. Those are all 10 of my horses. And that's just about it, man. So if you ain't getting on it, man, get on it. Because... I don't know if they're going to change it. I don't know if it's glitched out. But getting those Missouri Fox Charters is your best bet. So it's going to go Norfolk Roadster. The Missouri Fox Trotter. The Arabian. Then the Turkoman. Those are the top four. But that's pretty. Those are the best horses of 2021, guys. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did like the video, you guys make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Alright, join the Lock Nation. If you like the video, man, like the video. I love you guys. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.